This is a 2020 Ford Edge Platinum with the 2.0 EcoBoost four cylinder. Um, this is the part number for the spark plugs. These are bad about found out spark plugs. Or well, really not found out, I don't know why I said that. They get super hot and they'll crack, so then you get a misfire because the plugs ground itself out. So what you'll need, you'll need a three inch um, extension with a swivel, that's you know, three eighth swivel, and then another three inch. Um, and then your spark plug socket 16 millimeter. Um, now these you can do a straight extension with to get them out. You've got an eight millimeter uh, bolt uh, to take the coal packs out. Now with this one in the back, Ford tells you you have to buy these two bolts to take this loose to lift up to give you the room to be able to repair it. Um, but you don't. I'm going to show you how to do that in just a second. Okay, so this one, all we're going to do to get this. So these are already all changed. I made a video, but it wasn't done right. Okay, but on this, like I said, you got a 16 millimeter socket for the spark plugs. Recommend one with a magnet in it. Um, like I said, these three are going to be super simple. Use your standard six inch uh, with the socket. Loosen them out. You know, or take them, take them out. Put new ones in. Super easy. Uh, here's part number for them. Auto Light XB 5863. I don't remember if I said that or not. The only one you're going to have issue with is this one right here. Ford tells you you have to buy their bolts. Um, take this loose and then put the new bolts in. Torque it down because they're torqued to yield, so you can't reuse them. I didn't want to do that. I've got the bolts, but I like to find easier ways. Take this. Press these two little clips in. This one's broken, um, so I need to get another one to replace it, but it's not the end of the world. It still locks in. This one, you press the buttons on both sides. Okay, put it under. All right, next, I, I take this cover off just to give me a little more room. It doesn't matter, but... So and then you've got to take this wiring harness and you just lift. And it's just on the tip of that stud and just push it back a little bit. Okay, now is when you take... You're going to take that eight inch swivel or eight inch extension for the quarter inch ratchet with a little swivel and then your eight millimeter socket and just go right here right on it and just loosen it all the way out so now you've got room for that socket to fit okay right, grab it put it in the bin next you take pull that Pull that tab back, and then this will come right off. And I just tuck it under here. Because once your stud's out, you're gonna pull it straight up. You're gonna turn it. You're gonna turn this line, just pull it towards you gently. Don't put it in a bind, and lift straight up, okay? So now you should be able to fit it through here. And then take that, turn it, and boom, right out. Take, put this little setup I showed you. Take it, make sure you seat down on the spark plug. So make sure you're fully flush on it. And then you're gonna take, you're gonna make sure you stay straight to break it loose. And then you're gonna take and you're gonna pop it loose. Then loosen it all the way out. Then it'll pull right out, you support it. Check it, you're gonna put your new one in and you're gonna do the same thing. Since this is magnetic, it'd be easy just to lower it back in. Make sure you start it out by hand so you're not cross threading, it feels tight you know you're going to put yourself in a pickle so now you've got your new spark plug in like i said i've already done this so all you're going to do now you're going to take you're going to slide it back in like you just had it this is the way I, and make make sure you have this right uh, i think it was this way yep so just kind of finesse it around until you get it past point that straight down in the hole you're gonna have to fight this little harness right here. But you'll get past it. Boom, slide right back in. Now this is your time, you can make sure it's going straight up and down. So push it straight down on that spark plug, turn it, line it up with your hole in the back. And then there you go, you're in. You're gonna come right through here, sit there, line it up with the hole, get it started. You can spin it in by hand. A lot of times it's easier just to do it the opposite way. 
I mean not the opposite way the with the socket so make sure you're tightening you can just sit there by hand you just snug them down you're not trying to tighten the piss out of them to where you're gonna break the the fitting out of the plastic okay so now like I said it was that simple pop your connector back out from under there push it straight in and then make sure that locks next pull this over push it in now it's locked this one same it's locked take this you have to kind of push this one piece down and you got to make sure the two holes are on the left because this one just goes over at that sensor so simple as that make sure your connections or all your connections are good anything you messed with um and like I said, then you test drive it, make sure it's good. But it's that simple. So like I said, eight millimeters for each one of these uh, uh, bolts to hold the coal packs. Um, and then 16 miller, millimeter uh, socket. Make sure you have a magnetic or the one with the little washer in it, the little rubber washer. And like I said, take and compare your spark plugs to your new. So I bought an extra one. Because I think it's always good just to have an extra, just in case. But always check them. Make sure they're the same. Make sure the thread pitch is the same because they will give you the wrong part from time to time. Um, but I've had good luck with these Autolight XPs. I prefer them over the Ford. So simple as that. Uh, make sure you get all your tools out. Um, and then start it, test drive it, and you're good to go.